What's up guys, Chris Schwartz Edmondson here from Schwartz Edmondson Web Design. In today's video, I'm going to be providing the solution for a very specific sticky section issue where your section might be like flashing as you scroll. It's a very strange problem, but I have the fix and I'm excited to share it with you in today's video. So I'm here in the 7.1 site and you can see here in the custom CSS window, she has set up a list of sections and each one of these sections is getting a position of sticky and sticking to the top. Now, I'm definitely gonna to recommend to her not having a fixed header because it's pretty massive and it covers up a lot of the content on the screen. Now, we could set the top offset to be the height of the header and that way, you know, this section would stick at the bottom of the header. Um, but the reason that I'm not gonna be recommending that is imagine on a small like laptop screen, if we had this section stick to the bottom of the header, you can see that not all the content would be visible as it sticks. So it's just better if the header is not fixed, then even in this narrow of a screen height, if the header wasn't there, all of this section content is visible and nothing is cut off. So that's why I would recommend going with not having a fixed header as opposed to changing the top offset. But the reason for this video is in regards to the section following a sticky section. So it looks fine on desktop. Um, we're not seeing any issues here. Everything is kind of sticking and covering the next section up as it's supposed to. But if I flip over to this phone view real quick, we can see as I scroll down the page, as we get to this last section, the get in touch with me section, if you scroll fast, it'll scroll up behind the section and then all of a sudden just kind of like snap in front. And this only happens on iOS but it happens on both Chrome and Safari. So on my Android phone, it looks fine. And uh, even if I scroll slow here, you can see it kind of works correctly sometimes, but most of the time when you're scrolling, the section goes up behind the sticky section and then just snaps into the front. So it's a very odd issue. And again, uh, it only happens on iOS devices, but I've scoured forums and I've come up with a fix so this is the section following my last sticky section. And the solution is to make that section, that next section, also have a position of sticky, but then not to give it a top or a bottom value. We're just gonna give it a position of sticky. And um, for some reason that seems to fix this issue, but visually nothing changes. So I could you know, use my block identifier tool to find the data section ID and just come down here and paste that in. And now I can just also give this section a position of sticky. And we actually don't even need that important tag on this section. Um, so let me go ahead and hit save on that. And now if we look at the iOS device, as I scroll down the page, we now don't get that jumping anymore. For some reason, this is just the correct fix uh, and it makes it scroll correctly. Doesn't matter how slow or how fast you scroll, it just works. So rather than having to find the data section ID, um, I have a little CSS trick that I wanna show you here. So we have a list of sections and what we can do is we can write ampersand. So that's basically just taking each of these selectors here and then we can target the next section. So this targets the direct um, next element after our list of selectors here. And so what that does is basically, you know, after this section, it's targeting the next section so basically after any of our sticking sections, we wanna target the following section. So that would be this one um, in this instance and give it a position of sticky. And so I'll just copy this down here, paste that up there. And so now we've essentially done the same thing. This is just kind of an automated way to do it instead of having to go in and find the data section ID of any section following a sticky section. This just automatically targets the following section after a sticky section gives it a position of sticky, and now this effect will work on iOS devices as well. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this solved your issue if this is something that you run into. If it did, let me know in the comments below. Consider subscribing to the channel for more Squarespace content like this, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.